What if Elon Musk's boldest move isn't Starship, but Dragon, the same capsule that's been quietly, flawlessly carrying astronauts to orbit, might now become SpaceX's ultimate weapon against NASA's billion-dollar moon program. While Starship struggles with scale and risk, Dragon's proven tech could beat it to the punch and shock everyone who thought the moon race was already decided. Could the old ship outsmart the giant? Let's dive right in. For years, every story about SpaceX's lunar ambitions revolved around one name, Starship. The world's most powerful rocket, designed to carry 100 tons to orbit and beyond, to take humans not just back to the moon, but all the way to Mars. But now, there's a surprising twist. Behind the scenes, Elon Musk might be quietly repositioning an older, smaller spacecraft, the Crew Dragon, as SpaceX's next big step toward the moon. At first glance, that sounds absurd. Dragon was built for short trips to the International Space Station, not the quarter-million-mile journey to lunar orbit. Yet, insiders claim this idea isn't fantasy. It's a strategic contingency plan that could allow SpaceX to outmaneuver NASA's timeline and showcase a working human lunar transport system years ahead of schedule. What's driving this? One word, pragmatism. Starship is revolutionary but still experimental. Crew Dragon, by contrast, is already proven. It's launched over a dozen times, ferried dozens of astronauts, and returned them safely home every single time. SpaceX doesn't just dream big, it adapts fast. And if Dragon can be modified to bridge the gap while Starship matures, Musk could once again flip the entire narrative of who's leading the next moon race. NASA's Artemis program was supposed to restore America's lunar dominance. But after years of delays, billions over budget, and a spacecraft that's flown only once, the agency faces a harsh reality. The timeline is collapsing. Meanwhile, SpaceX continues launching Falcon 9s almost weekly, perfecting reuse after reuse. Their rhythm is unmatched, and their advantage is speed. That's where Dragon comes in. By leveraging what's already operational, SpaceX could execute a faster, cheaper, and safer lunar mission profile than anyone expected. Here's the concept. A Falcon 9 rocket carries Dragon into orbit, just like every other ISS mission. But instead of docking with the space station, Dragon would rendezvous with a specialized Starship tug, a modified upper stage of Starship optimized for deep space transport. In this hybrid configuration, Dragon carries the astronauts, while Starship provides the heavy thrust and propulsion for the translunar journey. Once in lunar orbit, the crew could perform experiments, test systems, or even dock with a future lunar gateway station. Then Dragon separates, re-enters Earth's atmosphere, and lands, safe and proven. The beauty of this plan is its simplicity. No massive new rockets. No waiting for full Starship reusability. Just a smart combination of existing, tested hardware. It's a shortcut born from engineering logic, not desperation. To understand how serious this plan could be, you need to look under the hood. Crew Dragon isn't a paper concept. It's one of the most reliable crew vehicles ever built. But to make it lunar capable, a few major upgrades are essential. First, the docking system. Dragon's current docking port is designed for the ISS's NASA docking system. For a Starship transfer, it would need a custom-built adapter, likely a reinforced pressurized tunnel, allowing safe crew movement between the two crafts. Second, life support and consumables. Dragon's current environmental system supports missions up to about six days. A lunar orbit round trip would require at least 12 to 14. That means doubling its oxygen storage, expanding CO2 scrubbers, and improving its waste management and water recovery systems, all technically feasible using existing modular components. Third, thermal and radiation protection. Space beyond Earth's magnetosphere is harsh. Upgrading Dragon's shielding and insulation would be crucial to protect against cosmic radiation and solar flares. SpaceX has reportedly been testing new materials for Starship's crew section that could be cross-adapted for Dragon missions. And finally, Propulsion. Dragon's small Draco thrusters aren't built for major burns beyond orbit. In the Dragon Starship setup, Starship's Raptor 3 engines would handle the heavy Delta V maneuvers, while Dragon remains docked. 
Raptor 3's higher efficiency and thrust output, 280 tons per engine, make this configuration not only possible, but practical. The end result? A mission architecture that combines old reliability with new power. And for Musk, that combination is the ultimate formula for winning fast. So why would Elon Musk even entertain this idea? The answer lies in SpaceX's long-term philosophy, iteration over perfection. Starship is the end game, yes, but it's still in development. Catching the booster with the Mechazilla arms, perfecting two-stage reusability, managing re-entry heat loads, those are enormous challenges that will take years to master. Meanwhile, Crew Dragon is already human-rated, certified, and trusted by NASA. It's operational, it's safe, it's boringly reliable, and that might be exactly what Musk needs right now. Because if SpaceX can demonstrate a successful Dragon Starship lunar transfer before Artemis gets off the ground, the implications are staggering. It would prove that private industry, not government bureaucracy, is leading humanity's return to the moon. And NASA knows it. The agency is under immense pressure after multiple Artemis delays. Every postponement strengthens the argument that SpaceX's agile, iterative model simply works better. So yes, this isn't just about hardware. It's about narrative control. Who gets credit for humanity's next lunar milestone? An aging government program or a private company that reinvented rocketry from scratch? That's the quiet battle happening right now behind every press release and every test flight. Beyond engineering and ego, there's another undeniable factor. Money. A single launch of NASA's SLS rocket costs nearly $2 billion. Each rocket is thrown away after one flight. By contrast, Falcon 9's reusable boosters cost roughly $50 million new, and SpaceX has driven that down to as low as $15 million per reuse. Now scale that philosophy to Starship. Building one costs over $100 million, but if SpaceX perfects full-stage reusability, that price per launch could drop to just a few million. Musk has even claimed that in the long run, Starship could lower the cost of sending payloads to orbit from $2,000 per kilogram to under $10. The problem? Starship isn't fully reusable yet. But Dragon is ready now. It's cheaper, fully operational, and capable of generating real revenue through crew and cargo contracts with NASA. By extending Dragon's life and using it as a stepping stone toward lunar missions, SpaceX could maintain cash flow, reduce risk, and keep momentum, all while testing critical systems for Starship under real conditions. It's classic Musk. Use what works today to pay for what changes tomorrow. Here's where the story flips. Despite how it sounds, Dragon isn't replacing Starship, it's completing it. Starship's role has always been long-term, to move vast amounts of cargo and people beyond Earth. Dragon's role has always been safety and reliability. Combine those two philosophies, and you have a near-term pathway to lunar operations that no one else can match. This isn't a rivalry, it's an ecosystem. While the world debates delays in politics, SpaceX is quietly connecting its past to its future. Dragon bridges the gap between the ISS era and the interplanetary one. It's the missing piece in a story that's been building for 20 years. If this plan works, SpaceX won't just have one spacecraft leading humanity forward. It will have two working in harmony, each mastering what it does best. And that, more than any explosion or launch, is what makes this story worth watching. All eyes are now on SpaceX's next few Starship flights. Flight 11 is set to test new heat shield tiles and a near-complete re-entry profile. If the booster catch attempt finally succeeds, it will mark the dawn of true full-stage reusability, a first in human history. Once that happens, pairing Starship with Dragon no longer sounds like a backup plan it becomes an inevitable step forward. SpaceX could conduct a demonstration flight, Dragon launched by Falcon 9, docking with Starship in orbit, transferring crew, and returning home. Even if it doesn't go to the moon, such a test would validate the core system for future deep space missions. And when that day comes, it won't just prove that Musk was right about reusability, it'll prove he was right about adaptability, the secret weapon that keeps SpaceX years ahead of everyone else. So, let's step back. This isn't just a story about rockets, it's a story about strategy. 
about how SpaceX uses every setback as an opportunity to reinvent the path forward. Starship may be the symbol of the future, but Dragon remains the beating heart of SpaceX's present. Together, they form a bridge from what humanity has already achieved to what it still dares to dream. And that's why, for all its stainless steel glory, Starship might not be the one to make the next lunar headlines. It might be Dragon, the quiet, proven, reliable veteran, finally taking the spotlight it deserves. Because in the end, SpaceX's biggest solution isn't about rockets. It's about redefining progress itself. And that's the real takeaway. Dragon isn't replacing Starship, it's redefining what progress looks like. This move shows that innovation isn't always about starting from scratch. Sometimes it's about improving what already works. SpaceX's decision proves that adaptability and proven technology can move humanity closer to the moon faster than anyone expected. What this means is clear. The new space race will be won not by the biggest rocket, but by the smartest plan. And with Dragon and Starship working together, we're watching the blueprint for humanity's next great leap unfold in real time. So what do you think? Could Dragon reach the moon before Starship? Share your thoughts in the comments below. If you found value in this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to Space Hub. And don't forget to turn on notifications so you never miss our deep dives into the future of space exploration. Because here at Space Hub, we don't just follow the news, we follow the future.